I just want to send a shout out to all of these wonderful people who have commented in my last few videos. And if you want a shout out, all you have to do is comment anything positive or say that you relate to one of my videos or say something even funny and even say that you subscribed. So if you do those things, you will be in my next video. And now on to the intro. Yay! They're here. somewhere because you know damn well I don't do not go anywhere I'm dressing up just to dress up and also in the next few videos so uh future reference here I'm going to say some stuff let's talk about future videos which is not really future videos because they've already been uploaded that's because this video was the first video that I shot at a four which became out to be three because well the last one was like crap so I deleted it and I'm just gonna reshoot it and stuff uh coming to you soon and uh so yeah please ignore all of that and I'm gonna shut up now and um Carry on. Videos that's going to come out, I'm going to be wearing the same outfit because I'm wearing the same clothes because it's the same day. So as you guys can see, this is a haul video. This is for Walmart, Amazon, H&M, and wherever else. Um, it's not going to be in particular order. It may or may not be. I'm not really sure. This is going to be kind of all over the place, but whatever. With that being said, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to turn on my notifications. You done yet? You done yet? Okay, good. And you can also follow my Twitter and my Instagram. All of that will be down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get this started. So I'm going to try to link all of the stuff that I got down in the description box below. Unless it's like from the grocery store or something. I'm not going to link that. You just go to the grocery store. But anywho, I'm going to start this video with what I have on right now, which is this hair. Uh, this hair is by X Vogue. I bought it from Amazon. It was $20. Um, unfortunately, it does have a little drawstring where you clasp it in the back, but it ain't got no combs, unfortunately. So if I was outside and someone be slick and pull it off, they could be able to pull it off. Most of my wigs got combs. This one ain't got no combs, so I'm a little frustrated. Um, this was only $20, so you know it's fake. It, it's synthetic. That's all I can afford right now. I'm not going to pay $100 to $300 for a human hair wig. I have to invest in that. Then I got this necklace from uh, Catchy Charisma and it's owned by a black woman. I'm trying to support my sisters out there, okay? And she been wanting me to get stuff from her and promote it, so I finally got something from you, Raina, okay? Okay. I will link her, I will link the owner's Instagram page down below. I will link the her clothing line, the website, and the Instagram page down there too. And this was only $10. $10. So it was really cute and it's actually pretty legit. I'm telling you right now, it's legit. All of this stuff is not sponsored. I paid it with my own money. Then I got this top from H&M. This was $13. Um, I got this in a size large. I should have gotten the medium because it's kind of loose and stretchy. I forgot that, you know, if you wear stretchy tops, you can go a size smaller. Um, yeah, it does that crap where you lift your arms up. It's going to, it, it's really annoying. Then I got these Bermuda shorts on. These shorts are from Monotiques, and you know, if you're on YouTube, you see a couple of girls doing a try-on haul with the Monotique jeans, and you know, you gotta be kinda iffy when people are sponsored with this stuff, but I'm not sponsored. I actually bought this with my own money. I got this in size 11, which is good, because these fit nice and tight, because I like my jeans to be a little snug. I don't want them to be too loose. And these were about I want to say retail between $20 and $30. Their jeans are actually pretty cheap. They're cheaper than Fashion Nova jeans. So if you want to have like the same material and same type of jeans like from Fashion Nova, you can try Monotiques. Monotiques is pretty legit. And um, I will link their website down below in their Instagram page. You know, you have to be careful with certain Instagram pages that do that have a clothing line and stuff. Because some of them are scammers, but I'm telling you right now, Mona Teaks is actually legit. So, yeah, these are like really comfortable. These are really stretchy. They feel like Fashion Nova jeans, but they're not Fashion Nova jeans. They're cheaper, and it's from a different website, and they're from LA, so thank the Lord. I'm gonna buy more from them. I'm gonna buy more for them. I'm gonna buy more stuff from Catchy Charisma. I'm gonna buy stuff from Raina Rain. That's the owner of Catchy Charisma. I'm gonna buy more stuff from her, too, because. This necklace, I'm loving it. I wonder how the dresses are gonna feel. But 
yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to link everything down below. I'm going to try. I'm not making any promises. If I forget, I'm allowing you guys to go in the comments and call me out and let me know. And I will link it. I'll, I will make sure to do it as long as you call me out because, you know, I'm very forgetful. Okay, now we're going to go on to the stuff from Walmart. And I actually got these from Walmart. These are Belvita Bites. Um, I ate the whole thing, like, in two days. There was, it was these and the, uh, the Belvita sandwiches, uh, the biscuit sandwiches. They taste just like the Milano cookies at Petrich Farm, okay? It's really good. And if you are lactose intolerant, that's okay because you can eat these Belvita biscuits and the Belvita biscuit sandwiches because there's no milk in there. So, I was able to eat these up. That means I can still have a sweet tooth without getting anything with, with milk in it, so which is great. The next thing I got is this um, USB cord. This thing is hella long. And I'm hoping and praying that this lasts long because the last USB cord I had that was like $3 at Walmart did not even last a month. And I've had this. I have just gotten this when my check came in. So, so far it works very good. It's very long and it's thick. And it's pretty heavy duty and it actually charges your phone. I don't have to do no twisting and turning because you know at a certain point before it stops working you got to twist and turn your phone a certain way to charge it. It's kind of like deflected headphone jacks. Speaking of headphones, um, I got these earbuds too. These were like $10. Unfortunately, uh, these are not noise cancellated, but they are loud enough and they still work pretty good and I have to have my headphones. I have to have earbuds. If I don't have earbuds, I don't know what the hell I would do. Earbuds kind of help me cope and keep me away from reality and things. Like, I need my music and stuff to be all up in my ears and I can just be away from reality for a little while. Then I got these uh, feminine wipes because every time you pee, every time you have sex, every time you shower, pH balance goes pretty wacky. So I just wipe my little hoo-ha with this. Not my actual hoo-ha, but the area surrounding the hoo-ha, because you really shouldn't be doing too much at your actual JJ because your vagina is a self-cleaner. And that actually feels pretty nice. This is so good. Oh, boy. This is wet right now. This is exfoliating body scrub with coconut water in it. I use it for my face and my body, and it's so good. My, You know, I've been using this for about a week now and I've been using it every day and it makes my skin feel so good and it makes me smell really good but it makes me feel like you know I'm on a tropical island it smells so good I be smelling so fire and I mean it's just for my face and my body and it's just so 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 good and this was only three dollars and seventy two cents you guys only three dollars and seventy two cents then I ordered Oh, I forgot. I ordered this from Amazon as well. This didn't come from Walmart. This came from Amazon. Um, I bought this witch hazel, which, I, you know, everybody's going towards witch hazel because I'm going to, I'm going to switch over to the whole wash on your face with oil, using essential oils and stuff. That's what I'm going to do with this witch hazel. And it's been, it's been okay. I had to wait for a little while because it's new chemicals on my face because I stopped using the Neutrogena. So... Um, of course, I'm breaking out right now because my body's not, my face is not used to the new stuff on my, uh, you know, I'm, it's just not used to the new stuff. So, and I got in like two of these, it was two of these in the pack and it was only $12 and some change. So I got that from Amazon and I just have to wait and see for about a month because you got to wait a month for it to start working to regulate. Then I got this um, Gold Bond Lotion, and this Gold Bond Lotion is actually pretty good so far. Because whenever you have skin like mine, it was like hella dry. Like, I'm talking like it's almost flaking up and stuff, and there's nothing that can save your skin. The Gold Bond is actually pretty good right now. So, even cocoa butter doesn't work on my skin, you guys. I'm still ashy after I use cocoa butter. I can't even use cocoa butter. I'm allergic to it. So, the Gold Bond Lotion is pretty good so far. Um, it's gonna be kind of expensive, probably like seven dollars. But to price you have to pay to try to get smooth, creamy skin if you have skin like mine. Then I got this blush, Wet and Wild. Um, it only cost me a couple dollars. Then 
Men raisers, because women's raisers are shit. Okay. Sorry, I cussed. But women's raisers do not work very well. This gives me a closer shave, so... And it's cheaper. So... Then I got this. It's this lipstick, which I have on right now. You can't really tell I have lipstick on, but I got lipstick on. And, um... This was only a dollar. This was Wet n Wild as well. Then... This is Wet n Wild too. This is a lip stain. It's like a lip balming stain, I guess you can call it that. Um... I forgot how much this was, but it's cheap. I think it was probably like two dollars. Um, and this was a dollar as well. This I've worn this lipstick already. It's on my profile picture, as you guys can see. If you guys don't pay attention to my profile picture for this YouTube channel, I will post a picture right here. Um, oh, and I also got something from another thing from H and M. My fault. Uh, I got this uh, foundation from H and M. Um, once again, this foundation is a little too dark. It's a little too, too dark. You can't tell because what I did it was I put this on and I knew it was dark because it was darker than here. I mean, yeah, it was darker than here. It made my face look all chocolatey and stuff. I'm not really that, as you see in the video, I'm really not that dark. Um, I'm probably pretty dark in real life though. It's not too, too dark. But... You, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, this comes on, but this this comes on like really, really nice. It's just that it's the wrong shade once again. It's so hard to find the right shade when you're my skin tone, cause either something is too dark or something that is too light and makes me look ashy. It's annoying. So what I'm doing right now is putting this on in that pressed powder I showed you guys in my uh, May favorites video. I put it on top of that because I gotta set my skin anyway because my skin is hella oily. So, that's what I've been doing, and it's pretty much matching with the rest of my body. And the last stuff that I got is from United, which is the grocery store. Um, yeah, so, I saw these, and I was like, yeah, Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies. I mean, not cookies, cereal. And if you don't know what Girl Scouts is, do you live under a rock? Okay. Girl Scouts is the best thing. I was actually part of Girl Scouts for two years. I don't have the vest anymore. I can't find it. But I was a junior Girl Scout for two years with the green vest and stuff. And used to sell cookies all the time. And Thin Mints is the best. I don't care what anybody else say. Thin Mints is the best Girl Scout cookie. If you don't like Thin Mints, you need to get your life. Okay? Okay. Now for all of my... Like Chelsea Tolerant people once again. For people out there who cannot have dairy because it gives me gas, it makes me go to the bathroom, as do I. Um, you but you still love milk. Uh you better get you some uh silk, soy milk. Um, it's got a lot of protein in it, but the only thing is, you know, the regular almond kind. Don't get the almond milk, get the cashew, because the cashew is a lot thicker. The, ca the cashew tastes like real milk. Like it has the same thickness of real milk. So I got that in vanilla, and I got it in chocolate, and this is good too. I would drink, like, swear to you, I would drink this right out of the car. And I had this before, and I was drinking it two days, so I had to get it again when we were grocery shopping. But yeah, this is really, really good. good tastes better than true mode so that is the end of my haul this is the end of the video and if you like this video please give thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that bell to turn on my notifications because it helps me a lot I can't talk right now come back for a story time I have two story times coming because you know I missed story time last month you know why my phone wanna be dumb so there's gonna be two story times this time okay Okay, I love you guys so freaking much. Please stay safe out there. For the love of God, please stay safe out there because this world is going to crap. I love you guys so much, all right? All right, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. I'm serious. I love you guys so freaking much. I love you this much, okay? Okay. <laughs>
but <laughs> please stay safe out there and don't forget to spread love not hate